All right, take a look at my very, very cool magic fountain. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to build your very own magic fountain. It took me about two weeks to come up with the concept, it took me a little while to source the parts, but it only took me really about a day or two to put it all together. Now there are a whole lot of wrong ways to do it and only one right way. In order to figure out how that right way works, watch this video. Now the whole project cost me about $200. Uh, that's from the tub up. You're gonna have to build your own tub. Uh, it can be, in my case, I've used a hard rigid fiberglass surrounded by bricks. Uh, some people may want to actually bury it in the ground or come up a little bit higher. And terrain is a little bit different, so you'll have to decide that on your own. Uh, one of the main things I wanted to do with this fountain is we live on a busy street. You can hear some of the traffic in the background, so I wanted it to be noisy. That's how I started out coming up with the idea to build this magic fountain. And then one thing led to another, and here we are. And you know, all day long people go by here in their cars, there's people almost causing accidents stopping to look and take a second look in fact to see how this is actually done. But I'll make you watch the video if you haven't figured it out already. So let's get started. We need to go to a few hardware stores, a garden supply store, and pick out the parts. Really easy stuff. If you happen to be a plumber, you'll probably recognize all these parts already. Really standard off the shelf. Okay, first up is a plumbing store. You can find those uh, at any major big box uh, store like Home Depot. Check out the plumbing section. You'll notice there's white uh, fittings. There's a T that I've just picked up. Take a look around. I've used the four inch uh, fittings and there's a four inch to two inch reducer. You'll need that. And there's a cap. You'll need one of those. And you can start to see the pieces starting to take shape now. Uh, it, lay them out in the store to make sure you've got everything together. Notice the white temporary pipe. I got a clear one a little later on. On the shelf, we're going to be looking for some ABS. The white stuff is PVC. This is ABS. And we're going to need that to connect to the pump. All right, there's an adapter we may need in case you've got to go from one size to another. The glues, make sure you've got the right glue. ABS glue, PVC glue, there's the pipe that's going to go into the center of the fountain head. Here we are, we've got it mounted onto the acrylic pipe. Uh, you can get PVC or acrylic. I highly recommend quarter inch acrylic, wherever you can find it. That's a two inch pipe. Notice the motor assembly on the bottom. I got this one at Costco online, but any fairly hefty pump, half horsepower minimum, not much more than that's required. And notice how it all fits together. Very easy to do. There's our glues. Make sure you get the right glue for the right pipe. Not sure? Ask the guy in the store. Do not mix glues. All right, we're gonna have to put a little uh, uh, handle on, of course, to make it look like a fountain. I've carved it out of a piece of styrofoam. We'll take a look at that in a few minutes. Notice how it's starting to come together. The, the top in this particular shot's been painted already. There's the motor assembly, okay, motor, uh, the two inch ABS pipe is designed to go right into the motor. Really quick fight fittings. I don't need to describe it to you because it's so simple. Take a look, go over it over and over again. The reason I'm not going to is because it depends what kind of pump you're going to use. Okay, there's the intake valve. You do need to put an intake a few uh, inches, at least a foot or more away. Otherwise, it'll start to suck in the air and you'll end up with air going into the tube. Notice my hokey but workable adapter. All right. I've put a cement block. I've attached everything to cement on the bottom so that there's no way that thing is ever going to move. It probably weighs 70 pounds, but that's going to anchor it nice and solid into the fountain. There's the water filler. So when the water starts to drain, you need that to refill it. There's the acrylic pipe, and actually there's some PVC. Notice it's not quite as clear on the PVC. That's why you want acrylic. There's the pump action again. So when the water, it's just like your toilet. When the water starts to drain, it uh, refills it up. You need that or the pump will run dry. And there's another view of it there. You can see it coming in the side. Uh, I've buried it under the ground. Now that's just a uh, backstop to stop the water from going into the pump. Okay, 
or into the head. There is a good shot of the entire assembly. Look how it's all put together. You can pause the video here, take a look. It's screwed down solid to that cement block. It ain't going anywhere. And notice the intake is a few feet away from where the water will drop. There's the water filling in. There's my handle. Now I've carved that out of a piece of styrofoam. Not the best carver, but you know what? That's gonna look great when it's, pray when it's spray painted. And I've, uh, of course, spray painted it red because that's normal handle. There's the sandpaper I use to kind of rub it around and give that round look, just like a handle would on any uh, faucet, of course. And there I am spraying it with special styrofoam paint. That is not ordinary paint. If you use the ordinary stuff, it'll melt on you. There it is sitting on top of the painted assembly. I've turned it on, the water's starting to flow. Look at that. And of course, you just need any old glue. I guess you could use a glue gun or silicone glue or goop or whatever you want on there. Uh, painted gold. You can see how the pieces all fit together. The water is going up and then it bounces back down again, giving the illusion uh, because, of course, the water is burying the pipe there. You can't really see it. Uh, and that will amuse people for years and years to come.